Hello, curious minds. Welcome back to Curiosity Chapters, where we unravel the mysteries of science and history in bite-sized episodes. If you're passionate about learning something new, you're in the right place. In today's chapter, we're turning back the pages to understand why we have two different temperature measurements, Celsius and Fahrenheit. The story begins in the early 18th century with a Polish-born physicist named Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. In 1724, he introduced the Fahrenheit scale, a temperature scale based on one proposed by himself. The lower defining point, zero Fahrenheit, was established as the freezing temperature of a solution of brine made from a mixture of water, ice, and ammonium chloride, a salt. The other limit was his best estimate of the average human body temperature, originally set at 96 Fahrenheit. Fast forward 18 years, and along comes a Swedish astronomer named Anders Celsius. He proposed a new scale, the Celsius scale, which was more straightforward. It set zero degrees as the boiling point of water and 100 degrees as the freezing point. However, this was later reversed to align with the logical sequence of cold to hot. So why the two systems? Well, it's a tale of tradition and scientific communities. Fahrenheit became widely used in the English-speaking world, especially in the United States. Meanwhile, Celsius was adopted by many countries during the metrication process in the 1960s and 1970s, becoming part of the international system of units. Today, the United States still primarily uses Fahrenheit for everyday temperature measurements, while Celsius is used in scientific contexts and by most other countries worldwide. And that concludes today's chapter on the curious case of Celsius and Fahrenheit. We hope you enjoyed this thermal journey through history and gained some insights into the diverse world of temperature measurement. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more curious chapters. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. Until next time, keep the flame of curiosity alive.